Hey friends, welcome to today's video. Today I'm gonna to share a few tips and tricks on how to use cream and powder products together. Specifically, we are talking about like bronzer, contour, blush. Um, I am all about this liquid and cream bronzer blush contour phase. Like I can't get enough cream and liquid products lately, which is a big shift from a few years ago. A few years ago it was all powders all the way, but now that I'm incorporating creams and liquids into my makeup routine, there are a few things you can learn to make your makeup just look more flawless because when you are combining textures like that, sometimes if you don't combine them or apply them in the right manner, you end up having makeup that separates or breaks apart or looks a little too heavy. So I'm going to share a few tips and tricks on how to avoid that. So I'm going to try and keep things super simple for you guys. I have applied my foundation, my eyeshadow lips, everything except my setting powder, my bronzer, my blush, my contour. Now I want to keep things very simple. I'm going to use one brush for all of these products. This is the BK Beauty 108 brush. It is my, one of my most used, I'm not actually, should I say one? It is the most used, most loved brush um, that that I have. <laughs> for those of you that don't know, I am the founder of BK Beauty, so little disclaimer there. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I've applied my foundation, but I haven't set with any powder. Now, for the sake of this video, we're going to talk about contour. I don't typically contour bronze and blush in a, every given day, but today we're going to do it. So I'm using the cream um, contour from Westman Atelier. This is the Face Trace Contour Stick in the shade Biscuit. I love this product. Like I said, I don't I don't contour every day, but when I do, this is pretty much my favorite product to contour with. The shade is perfect. When you are working with a contour, it's important that the shade is more cool toned. Do you see how that's not warm or rosy or peachy? A bronzer will lean more warm. This definitely needs to be more cool tone and mimic the look of a natural shadow because that's what contouring is doing. You are trying to create definition on the face. So I'm just going to kind of trace where I'd like my contour, which is where I want a little more definition. So when I smile, I have these, you know, these little pops of cheeks. I want my contour just below that. I am also going to contour a little bit here around my hairline. I'm going to save my bronzer for up here. You can contour on your forehead or you can use bronzer. I'm just going to use um, bronzer up there. I'm going to contour on the side of, on the, of my nose and a little bit down here. And I'm also going to contour on my jawline. Okay. So this is a cream product. Now, remember I'm applying this directly on top of a liquid foundation. I haven't applied any powder to my face yet. I'm going to go in with the 108 brush. And what I love about this brush is the perfect size and shape. I'm literally, if you, I mean, it's so easy. There's no skill or technique here. It's just pressing. It will blend out for you. What happens if you start to sweep too much or do this with too much pressure, it'll just kind of spread the product. I really want to just blend that in place where it's at. I don't necessarily want it to spread and migrate any more than where I've applied it. Now, when I'm in the hairline, you definitely can use the tip and shear it out a little bit, but the pressure is very light. I'm literally just softly sweeping that tip to blend out. I'm not pressing hard and moving like this, if that makes sense. Really soft. You want to blend it so it's blend, blended out, but you don't want to blend it to where it's completely, you know, completely disappears. I'm going to use the tip and blend the jawline out a bit. Now, when working with cream products and then planning to go over it with powder, powder is last. You want to apply your cream products first and then you want to apply powder last and very light. So we'll get there. But right now I'm going in and I'm applying all of my cream products. For the side of the nose, I'm just gonna take my time and lightly press the brush into the skin and to blend it out. I don't typically contour my nose. It's a nice little trick, but Day to day, I usually don't do that. I just run a little bit of bronzer over it. I like a very natural looking contour. I think it's important to remember that sometimes what we see on Instagram or what we see in YouTube videos doesn't necessarily translate the same in real life. If you follow a makeup tutorial and you see that it's the contour is applied super heavy or the shade is super dark in photographs, after it's edited a bit, it looks great. But then you look in the mirror and it's like looks like war paint. I mean, it looks like paint on the skin and I'm not really about that look. I don't know, just me. <laughs> okay, so now that I've got my contour applied very soft, I'm gonna kinda just double check and make sure everything's blended in nicely. Okay, so for the sake of this video, I wanna show you how to um, apply, like let's say I wanna apply a powder bronzer. You obviously could go in and apply a liquid or cream bronzer and that's pretty self-explanatory, very easy. But I wanna show you how to apply a powder bronzer with this. But before I get to that, I want to apply my blush because my blush is a cream. And again, you wanna apply your creams first. This is 
the Westman Atelier um, blush stick. This is the shade Chauchette. And I'm actually gonna go straight from my brush to the product. You certainly can apply it on the cheeks directly, but I wanna keep the product to a minimum because I am incorporating cream and powders. I wanna keep all the layers very light and sheer. And doing it this way, you're going to apply less product than if you were just gonna go straight to your face. Now, I like to smile and start at the apples of my cheek, but then I also like to kind of blend it up here. As I get older, you know, my face changes. And before I used to have these high lifted cheekbones that I didn't necessarily need to pull blush up, but these days I wanna pull it up a little bit. Now I personally love to apply cream products with a brush versus your finger. The reason I like to do that, you certainly can apply it with your finger. If you're in a, if you're in a quick, you know, hurry and, or you just want to have minimal products or you don't like a big fussy makeup routine, your fingers will work just fine. But if you have the time and you really want to make it look very skin-like, a brush is going to do such a better job of really working the product into the skin and making it look like one with your skin. So beautiful. This blush is Gorgeous. I love the shade Petal too. If you're going to do either of the two and you're my shade or a little darker, go with Petal. If you're a little bit lighter than me, Show Shut's a good match. So next I'm going to go in and apply my bronzer. And since I'm working with a powder bronzer over cream products, it's important that I choose the right brush to apply this. Normally I might go in with something like the BK Beauty 107, which... This is not the 107, but it's a similar brush that is in development, but it's more, you know, dense. It's a little bit shorter. If I were going over a foundation that had already been set with powder, I would do this because I want something that's going to pick up more product and up the deposit it because I have a, flat, a, a powdered dry surface and I need that extra like work from the brush. But because I have a cream product on and that's almost going to, that's going to work as like a little bit of glue for the powder. It's going to make the bronzer look a little more intense. I want to use a soft fluffy brush. So I'm going to reach for the BK Beauty 104 brush. This is soft, fluffy. It's going to uh, pick up and apply a product very lightly. So I'm just, just pressing it into the product. I'm not swirling around, not digging. I'm going to go ahead and tap off the the excess and then I'm just gonna go and I'm not gonna cover I'm not gonna cover my blush I'm just gonna kind of bounce it almost over the contour a bit and then I'm, I'm gonna bring it up here to my hairline Another reason not to use a really dense brush to apply powder directly on top of cream is because not only will it um, be much more intense than you probably will like, but it will also uh, tend to separate the cream a bit. Um, it can also be harder to blend out. So the name of the game is just taking your time and using a lighter application. You're just gonna get a more beautiful airbrush, softer application. I am gonna go over my nose because I always do that with bronzer. Perfect, okay. So everything is applied very light, very light layers. Next, I'm gonna go in and set my makeup. I'm gonna use my face powder. Today, I'm using the Kosas Cloud Set. I'm gonna use the same brush that I just applied the bronzer with. And I'm just going to set the area of my face that I need powder, and I'm going to try and avoid the areas that I've applied cream. So I'm not really gonna go over the blush. I'm gonna leave that blush without powder, and I'm just gonna use the tip of it, and I'm I'm basically you're just going to press it into the center of the face again if you notice I'm pressing I'm not rubbing or sweeping really hard because if you rub or sweep very hard and you've got a cream product applied there it's going to move it it's going to spread it I don't want to do that I want to keep everything in place but I just want to strategically powder and mattify those areas where I have foundation and I don't have product on top okay lovely and that is it you guys so a couple of key takeaways cream products first. That's key takeaway number one. Key takeaway number two is to use a soft brush to apply it. Avoid using your fingertips if you want to take the extra time and you want your makeup to look very skin-like and airbrushed. Obviously your fingers work, but for the, for the sake of giving you tips to have your makeup just look the most flawless and beautiful, I'm going to say go with a brush. So takeaway number three is to apply your powder products with a fluffy, soft brush. Avoid using something very dense like this or like this. You want something that is long, fluffy, so that it picks up product and lays it down in a very soft, veil-like manner. The 104 is great. The 103 is great. Any brush that you have that's not BK Beauty but resembles this type of shape, length, and fluffiness, that will also be great. And the last takeaway is to set everything with your uh, touch-up and finishing powder by just setting the center of the face, those areas where you need it. Don't feel the need to powder over everything. It's just gonna change the way the makeup looks. You're gonna minimize some of that color and diminish it. Really just focus on the areas that don't have cream product or if you wanna set over the cream, do it in a very, very soft 
way. Um, also, last takeaway, I think I said the last one was the last one, but I got one more for you. Uh, when you are you know, your pressure of your brush, keep it super light, just bounce. Don't feel the need to go in and move things around. Just be patient, soft. You want it to feel like if you had your eyes closed, it would feel very soft and relaxed and you don't want to feel like you're tugging or moving or spreading the product around. I hope you found this video helpful. If you took away anything from this video, let me know. I would love to know in the comment section below. If you have some tips for applying cream and powders together, share those down below. Also your favorite cream blush and bronzer. I would love to know. I have been obsessed with cream and liquid <laughs> bronzers and blush lately, as you probably have noticed. So I'm always up for trying new things. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.